Okay, so guys, so we're out here with the Abysma running on 2S. So let's see what we can do. It would help if I put the GPS on it, though, guys. <laughs> okay, guys, we're out here with the Abysma. We're going to see what we can do on 2S. Got a 2S LiPo in there, so let's see what we do. Let's check the GPS. Zeroed out peak speed. Sorry about that. You can see that's a zero there, yeah? Okay. Okay, let's go. Oh, I uh, think I need to do some trimming or something. Yeah, I need to do the trimming, guys. Let's give me a sec. I need to set my endpoints. That's what I forgot to do. I was wondering why it's steering so sharp. I need to do my endpoint. Yeah, before I go to a different bigger battery, I'm gonna set my endpoint, guys. But that was flat out, guys. That was flat out on 2S. I'm not expecting too much on 2S. Come on, focus. 38 mile an hour, guys, on 2S. Yeah, not, not expecting much. I don't think we'll get anything more squeezed out of it, guys, on 2S. Flat out, I'm flat out. Yeah, I was flat out there, guys, for a good while. 38 mile an hour looks like it'll be the limit, guys. Yeah, 38 mile an hour, guys, that's the limit on 2S. not get it too hot got a few more batteries to try so let's swap out to another battery and see what we can do let's get 3s in there i've been running at 3s in my a959 so it's not going to have as much oomph in it but you know we'll see what happens okay 3s run guys it's not a fully charged 3s but we'll see what happens let's check the gps right we're at what was he on before so let's stop that sorry it's like that start recording okay zeroed out set to peak speed let's see what we can do If I can get this to about 50, with a probably half charge battery now, because I've probably ran it half flat with that A959. So if I can get this to around 50 mile an hour, that's not bad, that's not bad. But we'll see what happens. Full throttle. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that battery's flat 40, 45 mile an hour, guys. Have one more run, that battery's flat.
I'm not going to take it all the way up to the top, there's no need. Full throttle. Yeah, that's not going to go any quicker. You can see it's topped out there. That's topped out, guys. So we was doing 38 and 45. Yeah, that's topped out, guys. Much more stable with the spacers. Much more stable with the spacers. Oh, <laughs> don't hit the curb. So, let's uh, go for us. We're going to try these two A959B for us batteries and see what speeds we get. Okay, 3S run now, guys. Let's see what 3S is doing. Oh, my bad, my bad. Not 3S, guys. Sorry, 4S. I got the two A959B batteries combined to make 4S. So there's, the discharge is very low, guys. Let's just check the GPS is still running. Peak speed, same from the last run, 45. Let's zero it out. Recording. Zeroed out, set to peak speed. Definitely got a bit more poke in it. Let's see what these little batteries can do when you combine them, guys. I bet you're all curious. Does it give a good 4S run? We'll soon see. They probably won't last long, but we'll see. I've, I, I, I don't really like following the car with the controller because I like to stand more comfortable and just turn my head. But you know, it is what it is, guys, when you've got to film on your own. <laughs> okay. Let's do it. Full throttle. And that was full throttle. But I think that was definitely over 50 mile an hour. Was it? No? Oh, bless. 46 mile an hour. 4A95, let's try one more run. Bless them little batteries, hey? It looked like it was going quicker. I think it's got a bit more punch, but it ain't got the top end speed to push the battery, push the car any quicker. Full throttle. It looks like it's going quicker, but yeah, I guess it's uh, it doesn't have that oomph. Whereas my other batteries are 100 C plus discharges. And oh, come on, focus. 50 mile an hour, guys. There you go. 50 mile an hour. Four rest with those two A959B batteries. So have one more run. Looks like it's warming up. I need to do my trimming or the track, uh, the little tracking and stuff. So walk back a bit, I don't want to be too far from the other end. Don't want to hit the curb. Full throttle. I don't think we're getting any quicker than 50 mile an hour. Nah, we ain't gone any quicker guys. 50 mile an hour. Not bad for those little batteries. Definitely not bad for those little batteries. Woo! 
Hey, it's definitely got the punch. It's definitely got the punch. Woohoo! Definitely got the punch, guys. Definitely got the punch, guys. Definitely got the punch, guys. Right. Uh, I'm wondering whether I should put the 100C discharge for us in there. I got a feeling it's going to pull a wheelie, guys. <laughs> I got a feeling I'll hit about 60 mile an hour and it'll probably pull a wheelie. Or maybe 55, 60. We'll give it a go. We'll give it a go. Okay, so we got the 4S in here now, which is a 100C discharge. So, yeah, we'll see what this is going to do, guys. I think you're pretty, it's pretty obvious what this is going to do. So, let's have a go. Wait there, let's do the GPS. Okay, let's see, roll that out. Stop. Record. Zero rolled out, peak speed. Okay, let's uh, see what we do. Look at that guys, oh ho, ho. <laughs> fuck you know, <laughs> well wheels off, batteries out, GPS off guys, everything, I punched it full throttle and you saw what happened, oh, 55 mile an hour and it done that guys, Ugh. battery out, wheels off, <laughs> cartwheeled like crazy guys and I'll bust my wheel, yep. Cartwheeled like crazy, guys. And let's see if this thing held out. Uh, let's look at the damage ways you can see there. That's off. Back wheel's done. Looks like it. Yep. Back wheel's done there. Two crashes today, then, guys. All for your entertainment, eh? All for your entertainment, guys. Well, I won't be doing that again. <laughs> yeah, I should have screwed down that front spoiler to see if it will keep it down on the ground. But man, when I went full throttle, well, you saw what happened. It just took off up in the air and I did back off, but it, yeah, yeah, guys, didn't back off quick enough. So uh, yeah, we just did some crazy cartwheels there. And this is why I ran it with these old tires on because it was knackered. Well, they are knackered now, so uh, let's make sure we ain't lost anything else. Motor still intact, everything's still good. Yeah, everything sounds good. I guess this little bumper here was doing its job for a bit. Let's have a look at any damage underneath chassis. What's that like? That's all good, that's all good. Now you all see why I kept it plastic, guys. <laughs> that is a, this is exactly the reason to why I kept it plastic. I'm not sure what that is, if that's off my car or... It's just a bit of plastic on the floor. Well, the spoiler did its job. Shock towers, everything looks intact. 
I'll have a good look over when I get home. I might have bent some hobs if I haven't. Then yeah, guys, uh, just the wheels really then gave in on that accident there. The wheels gave in, so if the wheels didn't give in, I would have gave it another run, guys, and gone for it again. But as soon as I went full throttle and this thing started to get some speed up, you seen it just took off, guys. It's way too light for high speed running. So I'll, I'll keep my HSP for the high speed runs. <laughs> it's got a lot of weight in it. It's got about a pound more weight than this. So um, yeah, even if I put the front spoiler on, I reckon I might still lift. So um, apart from that, guys, I'm, I'm well impressed. I am well impressed, guys. Could not see any damage to the car. So if anybody's thinking about buying this car, I mean, last time out, I was bending dog bones and all kinds. It doesn't look like I've bent any dog bones. Maybe, maybe not. I'm not sure. I've got spares, but yeah. Nothing, guys. No uh, damage to the car itself. Everything's still intact. And you saw what that was doing, 55 mile an hour, and this thing started throwing some crazy cartwheels, guys. The rear spoiler there is getting some scrapes because it's wheeling on it. I mean, I don't know if that's the rear spoiler just catching air and flipping it up, which is obviously, I think, is what would have, you know, caused it to catch a bit of air and, you know, exacerbate, if that's the right word, to flip it over. But yeah, I've definitely done my wheels in. <laughs> look at that look at that I mean if anything I was more worried about the tyres exploding so as you can see guys these tyres as cheap as they are you have a good roll and this is what's going to happen to them the car itself just flexed and bent and because it's so light nothing really broke I just got me uh, extension bars today as well and as you can see they've held out beautifully just the wheels gave in completely and I did 55 mile an hour when it flipped Ooh, it's a bit of a dent on that corner of my battery but I think it's gonna survive what do you reckon guys do you reckon that battery's all right to keep using do you reckon it's uh risky would you reckon it's got a bit of a kink in it there in the corner do you reckon that's still usable? It's in one cell. Looks like that's damaged, isn't it? I mean, it hasn't rubbed right through. It's just probably when it's came out and it's hit the floor. So I think that's all right still to keep using. Let's have a look at the body. Well, boggy bodies don't really ever get damaged, guys. So yeah, body's fine. And the buggy's fine, really. Just the wheels, wheels gave in on that tumble, which is a shame because I could have carried on. But yep, yeah, I did bring some spare wheels. So I'm gonna uh, swap out these wheels. I did bring the originals. I'm gonna throw the original wheels on, but I'm not gonna do a high speed run with that battery again. It's just a bit too much, guys. Just a little bit too much for this car. But it's nice to have that kind of power. So now I've tested it out and I uh, seen what it's doing. I now know 4S, you know, unless I'm adding weight to this car, 4S is a little bit too much, you know. So I'll go with 4S still, but it's gonna be a very low discharge. I'll get high milli milliamps, but a low discharge. So let's get back to my car. Well, that was an interesting day, guys. And carnage and home time. Yep. Okay guys, I'm back home and assessed all the damage and guys, this is a buggy and a half. I recommend it guys, totally recommend it. You saw what it done, you saw the, the rolls it, it was taking. I mean, the only thing this is left to do is have a probably a head on crash, you know what I mean? To see how well it takes a head on crash, but tumbling wise and just flipping and rolling around wise, I well, I mean, that was 55 mile an hour and 
the wheels broke, guys, which, you know, didn't come with the buggy. So probably if I'd have had the wheels on that came with the buggy, this probably wouldn't have happened, guys. Completely smashed. Completely smashed. I mean, like, look at that. Pieces of the wheel. I actually left that piece on the floor. I was wondering where that piece of plastic had came from. It's from the inside of the wheel. Look at that, guys. Completely shattered the wheel. Completely shattered it. And the front wheel as well. Completely taken that out. Look, cracked it right through. Let's get better light in there. Sorry about the lighting. Completely, completely done it in, guys. Look at that. Let's sort the lighting out so we can get a good look at all this stuff. Okay, that's the light on. Yep. Look at that, guys. Shattered. That is one seriously shattered wheel. And to take so much damage to the wheels, you'd expect the rest of the car to look real messed up. If I would have showed you these wheels beforehand, you would have been like, man, what does the car look like if that's what the wheels look like? And basically, all the damage is to the wheels. There was damage to the car, and it was the, not this side, that side's okay. There you go, look. That one's got a little bend in it. And that was the side that had the broken wheel. And let's check the back ones. That one side's fine. The side that had the broken wheel, that's fine. So as you can see, guys, the spoiler took some scrapes. You know, that's 55 mile an hour, 50 mile an hour, 55 mile an hour, scraping along the floor. Me pulling uh, wheelies and stuff on 4S. That's what it does to the rear of your spoiler. But man, this thing held together fine. The shock towers, everything held together fine. I don't know what this thing would be like jumping it and stuff and landing, you know, bad and stuff like that. But it's not something I do very often. But it definitely looks like this thing can take it, guys. Can definitely take it. Chassis is fine. Everything's fine. All the electrics is fine. Cars running fine. Everything's running smooth. Like... The car itself, guys, has took it, took that pounding and tumbling it did. It took it, took it well. So, uh, yeah, I mean, these tyres was knackered anyway. Like, as you can see, there's barely anything left on there. So, it's the reason I'd put them on in the first place. I just wanted to run them out, you know, run them flat. It's really soft now, as you can see. Like, it's literally, you know, there was going to burst. And that's what I thought would have happened. It would have been nice if the front wheels would have survived. I got... You know, so I could have had two fronts left, but the rears was gone anyway, so I had no problem throwing this away. I mean, you can hear that. That's that's knackered. I may uh, cut these tyres off and take the inserts out. The foam may be good. I can double up the foam in another tyre, you know, that I get to give it that bit more cushion. It's a shame about the fronts. They've got loads of grip on them still, but hey, that's such is life. I'll still keep the good one. Good wheels, you never know, I might buy another set of these wheels and break them again. And so I'll keep the good wheels, but yeah, they'll and I'll try and get these tires off the front ones, they're good. I'll try and get the tires off this broken wheel. I'll have to give them a soak and see if I can get them off. I'm kind of hoping if you guys want to give me a shout in the description what you reckon with this battery, it's still good to use. Have you guys had batteries banged up worse than this and still, still running them? You know. It looks okay. I think it'll be okay. It looks like one cell slightly dented in the corner. Is that going to cause me a major problem, do you reckon? Or, you know, I mean, it's it's a shame to throw away a 50 quid battery. But, you know, I think it may be all right to use. It's not, doesn't look too bashed up. I think it'll be all right to use. But you guys let me know in the comments. You know, I've never bashed a battery. So, and then, you know, I, I have no experience on whether it's safe to still use it or not. So, you guys let me know. But apart from that, everything's good. There's a few, I think one and two of these little pins got a slight little bend on. You can, it's hard to tell in the camera. It's a bit of the inside of the wheel. But my spacers I put on, they're fine. You know, nothing's wrong with my spacers. Perfectly fine, brand new today, put them on and they held up perfectly fine. On my GPS, it took a bit of a tumble for the first time. And yeah, it's fine. 
so it took a little scuff there but yeah i mean it was still working when i picked it up as you saw it was saying 55 mile an hour so i took that tumble at 55 mile an hour guys and everything's running as it should do so the only thing i gotta do now is uh take out that dog bone change that and put my original wheels on because i won't be doing any high speed runs with this again now i just wanted to see you know what it is capable of doing so i do know you know with uh, with um 4s with that 4s i did 55 five mile an hour and it flipped if i had weight in the front and i you know and to stop it flipping i definitely get it over 60 mile an hour so a 30 tooth pinion with a 64 tooth spur on 4s 120 amp 120 amp esc 3300 kv 4s motor you'll get over 60 mile an hour easy guys definitely over 60 mile an hour probably even close to 70 but being so light as it is it just took off so yeah i'm happy with everything so far i'm still happy you know okay guys so we're ready for another day ready to take these out as you can see they're back on the road all fixed up all ready to go um original wheels back on as i smashed two of the older wheels i had so i've got the brand new fresh wheels on there now ready to give it a run no messing about around here guys no messing about around here we're back at it stay tuned